Hey guys, Walter's World here, and we're in Herculaneum in Italy, one of the uh, cities that was destroyed by the Vesuvius' explosion in AD 79. And here you can see all kinds of towns and all kinds of stuff. Well, all, all parts of the town have still been, you know, it's covered by 16 meters of mud, basically. They keep things relatively in good shape. I mean, they had, I mean, there's still clothing, the mosaics are on the wall, I mean, there's still walls standing, all kinds of things. Anyway, what I want to talk about today. Uh, in our Learning Italian series is basically informal commands. How do you say, hey, give me something, uh, go there, do that, things like that. All right. Now, it's very simple. Okay, If you look at the ERE and IRE verbs, okay, you just use the second person both times. So, you know, if it's, you know, vedere, which is see, you just say vedi, like look, see. Okay, you just use it like that way, but you put more emphasis on it. Okay, like vedi, like, vedi, look. Okay, um, and also vedete, or you guys look, vedete. Okay, you just put more emphasis with it. And that's how it works for the ERE and IRE verbs. It's very simple, okay? For example, with uh, capire, like understand, okay? You say capisci, which is the same, capisci, you understand. And capisci, with force, means understand, okay? And then in the, the third person, you know, or, sorry, the plural form of you guys understand, it's capite, which is the same as the usual use of it, okay? Now, the difference is, is when you're in the third person, or I'm sorry, when you use A-R-E or A-R-E verbs, like cantare, to sing, that one's different. In the singular form, you use the third person, so you say canta, which means sing, okay? Because it also means he sings, lui canta, but you say canta, means you sing, okay? But that's only in the A-R-E verbs, it goes to the, it goes to the third person, okay? But for you guys sing, then it stays with the second person plural, you just put more emphasis on it, so it's cantate, cantate, all right? So it's very simple to do these. However, there are some irregular forms. So if you want to say, like, go, andare, okay, it's to go. So you want to say go, you say va, va. That's for the you, like, you singular. Your plural is andate, like, you guys get out of here, andate, andate, all right? If you want to say something like give, which is dare, dare is to give, so you, when you say give it, you say da, da and then if it's multiples you know you guys give so date date if you want to say uh to say something it's dire is to say dire so you say say it d d and then if you want to say you guys say you say dite dite so we got a little friend down here okay and then the last one you have well i could do a couple more if you want to say be like be good okay that to be is essere essere so you be good it's C, C, S, I, I, and then you guys be siate, siate, okay, then of course you want to tell someone to do something, like go do that, okay, do it, to do is fare, and then you do, like do it, fa, fa, like if I tell my son do it, I say fa, all right, and then for you guys, it's fate, fate, so you put more emphasis on it, and a lot of times all you do is just put more emphasis on the second person and ER, I-R-E and E-R-E verbs, and you have it. Okay, just put more emphasis on that. The only time it changes in A-R-E, when you use the third person. Also, if you want to say, like, we do something, let's do something, you just use the third, or you just use the we form, but put emphasis on it. Like, let's go, okay, we're going, andiamo, but let's go is andiamo. So you'll hear that a lot. Okay, guys, okay, guys, see, andiamo, and that's how we go. So I'm out of here. Hope that helps you with the, with the uh, informal commands in Italian. I'm going to go enjoy some more of Herculaneum, so see you later.